folks, today we're going to take a look at the Haynes Retro Arcade Make Your Own Ping Pong Electronic Game. Build your own ping pong game. Build your own electronic ping pong game. Awesome. This looks pretty cool, man. Let's open up the box and see what's inside and put this bad boy together. So let's begin the build. So basically all we're going to need is a pair of wire cutters. Sneep, 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 sneep. Some solder. And our soldering iron. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. Alrighty. Let's open this thing up, see what's inside. It's a cool little box. What's really neat is the actual box itself becomes the actual uh, unit. It's pretty stout. Feels like it's got magnets holding the lid closed. Let's open up the case here. And there we go. Don't need this anymore. So there's our knobs. A pot, another potentiometer, our battery case, the wire we will be using, and our little circuit board. Pretty basic little kit. So let's unpack the contents and uh, continue on. And there's all our parts out of the box. This is actually a pretty neat little manual here. I like this Hanes, like the car repair manuals. That's pretty funny. Pretty nice instructions. Cool. All right, well, let's get this thing put together. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is take the top cover that came with the box. We're going to put our little circuit board in here. These two contacts here are going to represent the coin slot. So we're going to use these wires to make a little detection system. So when we put a coin through there, it'll actually coin up the game itself. So now we're going to fasten this to the lid of this box. And there we go. We got the display mounted in there and the two pots. Open it up here, you can see the back side. Here's that top plastic cover that came with it. Mounted the pots through it. So we have our, all our little leads right here, right next to the coin slot. Let's continue on to the next step. Now we've cut our four wires. We have a short three centimeter wire. Then we have a 12 millimeter, 12 centimeter long wire. And we have two 15 centimeter long wires that have been stripped about three centimeters up in the middle right here. So now we're gonna solder them, just like the instructions show here, to our pots and circuit board. All right, now let's begin soldering. And there's all the wire soldered in, just like the instructions show. So now let's move on to the next step. Next, we're gonna mount the coin detect circuit. I've already put one right here, and I punched a hole through the plastic right there on the sides to hold that wire into place. So I just bent this wire up. This goes into the circuit board, this goes up, just like that one does. So pull it through the plastic here. So, put it on our circuit board and then we're going to solder it. And that's what's going to detect our coin when we put it through that little slot right there. So let's solder these babies in. Okay, I've got the coin contact soldered in and the wires have been around. I have to do a little bit of testing by dropping a coin through there to see if I can get to actually, but I got the basic shape there. So now let's move on to attaching the power supply. Awesome. All right, so the black wire goes here. And the red wire goes right 
next door. There we go. So pretty much all the wiring is now complete. Now let's do a quick test. Put our batteries in here. So we'll close the case and see what we got. Hey, looky there. Now we should be able to move the bats. Oh yeah. Cool. All right. So let's finish putting this thing together. Awesome. Next, let's mount the diffuser. So we've got these little double-sided sticky things here. So we'll put one on each corner of our diffuser. Next, there's one there. Now we just need to stick it on the front here. There's the diffuser. Now we'll mount our knobs on here. Oh, the little screwdriver. Loosen these up. All right, I got my little screwdriver here to loosen up the uh, set screws. And there we go. Complete. Now let's try playing a game. So now I got to insert a coin to get to play a game. Just like that. Awesome. So let's say you want to play a one player game. Move one bat clear to the bottom. That's going to become the computer controlled player and rotate the one you're going to use up just a little bit. Give it power. You'll see it flash, which means the computer is going to control that one. Then it will serve. Now you can play the computer. Now you can also make the computer play itself by putting both bats clear to the bottom of the screen when you turn the power on. It's kind of like a demo mode where you can watch the computer play itself. So let's go ahead and activate the computer player mode. Put both bats all the way to the bottom. Then we'll interrupt the power. Both are flashing. And now the computer will play itself. This is actually a really neat little project. Uh, it's not very difficult, very minimal soldering you have to do. Uh, I got this from Make Magazine, uh, Maker Shed. You can uh, put a link in the show notes down below where you can go and see this. It's around 50 bucks to get the kit with shipping and everything. But it's actually kind of neat to do. It's a little, it's a nice little, uh, fun little project for one evening. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Ooh.